it's unwise to look out into the world through my lens and think that I control anything but my camera. We are not in control of everything, but we are in so much more control than we think. We often ask ourselves, usually when we're feeling out of control, the natural question of, how do I take control? Well, maybe the first question we don't ask ourselves often enough is, what are we in control of? As I try to live my life more intentionally, there's a big reality check that I need to face. The vast majority of actions that will affect your life are not your own. Put shortly, intention does not equal control. So how do we obtain something that we all need, yet is never consistent or predictable? I think the first thing we all need to understand is that control is more of a state of mind than an action. So how do we put ourselves in that state of mind? Let me digress for a second. I have a feeling that among the reasons that so many of us can be addicted to our phones is that they bring us a small-scale sense of control. In the midst of boredom, frustration, even anxiety, just the simple act of opening our phone and consuming our choice of media gives us one little corner of our world that we have influence over. We get sucked in because we don't want to let go of that control. Because of this, I feel like maybe we can begin to ask ourselves what other small, simple, meaningful things in our lives, our surroundings, can we control? When we're at the mercy of so many unknown factors in life that affect our goals, passions, happiness, who we are as a person, it's important to downsize our range in which we bring the feeling of control into our lives. Welcoming control on a small scale is what allows us to hold on to it. So how can we do that? Start with the necessary. Food, sleep, peace. Add the meaningful. Relationships, passions, responsibility. When it becomes too much, when stress, anxiety, and insecurity form, step back, evaluate the moment, ask, what of this am I in control of? What's most important? What can I create that I need? Shape your next steps in pursuit of your answers. You cannot create control. You control what you can create. No, the goal here is not universal control over everything in life. Rather, preventing the feeling of being out of control, which brings depression, anxiety, hopelessness, along with it. The longer we can fend off these feelings and stay in a positive, constructive headspace, the more likely we will be to take action on things that matter in our lives, getting us closer to embracing our goals, passions, and happiness. Not everybody finds solace in prayer, but I've found this one particularly grounding recently. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference.